it's Esther with Onya Look. So today's video, I'm gonna attempt to transform this chair into a pretty throne chair. Y'all, I have been wanting to attempt a throne chair. I am not a professional, but I was inspired by someone on YouTube, You Do Essentials. But if you're new to my channel, I am so excited that you're here. All I'm doing here is inspire and motivate you guys to try creativity. But I want you guys to enjoy how I do this step-by-step -step transformation. So right here, I am just measuring the height of the throne chair because you all know the back of the chair is always high for a throne chair. And here I'm measuring the waist. Now that I've got the measurement of the height and width of the chair, I'm just going to cut out the cardboard using those same measurements. Now don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that way you get latest videos and updates that I post on the channel for you guys. And if you like what you're seeing, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. The next thing I'm going to do is use the masking tape to hold those two cardboards together in place, as you can see. The next thing I'm going to do is cover out the decorative only that I got from Amazon because a lot of throne chairs has decorative only. So those are the ones I'm going to use for this project. And that's how it looks like. So right here I am just covering up the sides of the chair. After that, I'm going to add the foams right there. I actually used the 2 inch foam, but I later reduced the inner part of the hand rest foam to 1 inch and the outer part 2 inch. I'm going to do the same thing for the other hand rest and move on to carving out the back of the chair. As you can see, and I carved out the decorative only to match the cardboard. And I'm going to use a hot glue to glue that to the cardboard.
Now that I carved out the decorative only on the phone, I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint all of them. So those are the decorative only I'm gonna be using for this drawn chair. So y'all, if you like what you've seen, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Like I said, I'm not a professional. I was only inspired that I could make my own throne chair.
you guys see, I did put the decorative only at the bottom as well. So, here is the final look. I love the way it came out. But, here is my throne chair, my DIY throne chair. And I want to encourage you guys to go ahead and try to create something, okay? Open your heart to creativity. And thank you guys for watching this video. Please share it with your friends and families. And give this video a thumbs up if you like what you've seen. And I'll see you later. Bye.